Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to Artificial Alliance. Hey, we're here, man. We're yes. back. Jamie's back. Yes. Because Martin is very busy with the 2.0 Cherry updates. Yeah, there is a massive amount of changes happening. Uh, if you've read uh, today's dev diary, there's even more like that coming every day. And I figured leading up to the holidays, I want him to focus on that as much as possible. So uh, you get to deal with me for <laughs> another episode. Yeah. But I hope you're happy to see me. I really enjoyed uh, my time on the stream so far. And... Uh, Let's end out this year strong, my man. Absolutely. And as uh, Jamie hinted a little bit at there, this will be our final uh, Stellaris episode, or Stellaris stream uh, of the year. That's it. So we will be taking a break for the holidays, and then we will come back on January 11th. Yes. For uh, for that Thursday stream. Yeah, it's going to be good to get a, a little bit of time off to clear our heads and yeah. uh, just finish off what we've, what we, what we've planned Absolutely. up and come home... Uh, Come back to the office refreshed in the new year and finish this thing up, yeah. which is going to be massive. Probably the single biggest patch we'll ever release for Stellaris, to be honest. And uh, we really hope you will enjoy it. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Well, <laughs> sleepers uh, awake. So that's. Uh, oh dear, here we yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should pause that. <laughs> Maybe we should pause that. Let's see, where are they? Is it. Oh, it's yeah, it's your neighbors as well. The uh, <laughs> the fanatic spiritualists, who oh, uh, dear. yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. Hopefully, and hopefully that will actually come to fruition in the next hour. And here I was hoping, and here I was hoping that we might have a nice, calm, quiet episode. But <laughs> alas, no, it's nope. always violent in this in this dark universe we inhabit. Yeah. So much violence. Absolutely, oh, man. I really don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with it. Okay, I've got fleets scattered all over the place. I think we before we figure out what to do yeah. with them, we should probably just pause and maybe organize here. All right, you do that. I'm gonna start uh, or set up an order to build up my fleet because mm -hmm. if that happens during this stream, I want to be at the fleet cap before. We yeah, can that that seems sensible. That seems very before sensible. Before we can get that going, and oh yeah, I built a. Uh, what will what will be a mineral world eventually? Mm. Uh, so that's gonna be super nice. Oh yeah, we haven't taken out the dreadnought or the uh, devourer, so that's good. Um, and of course, I want to push everyone, especially those on YouTube, if you're interested in more uh, more space stuff. St after the stream, we have. A feature stream of Surviving Mars coming up, uh, where they'll be showing off the domes. That we do. So if you're more of a like, I want to build, I want to focus on the colony and build it my way. Mm -hmm. That's the game for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there may be uh, some uh, mysterious things going on in that game as well. Uh, I've taken it down to normal speed. I think that will. Uh, yeah, cool. So we, can we just let things tick. At Paradox, yep. went to the theater and saw Star Wars yes. yesterday. More, and more space stuff. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but it was emotional. I yeah. So, um, <laughs> so we went to see Star Wars at three. Can you guess what I did at nine? <laughs> you went and saw it again with yeah. your dad. You told me about <laughs> yeah. that. Oh yeah. Because you had your, uh, <laughs> yeah. your plans all lined up. Hey, that's that's good, man. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I had my tickets already booked, so I was like, oh, oh well. I guess I'll go and see Star Wars. Got home like half past midnight. So uh, it was a good time. Mm -hmm. I, was, I noticed some new details in the movie the second time around. And just really, uh, yeah. It was an enjoyable movie. Cool. I will say that. Yeah, I definitely uh, definitely want to see it again. Think about it some more and uh, yeah. figure out my final opinion. I, I haven't seen the prequels or the original trilogy in in quite a few years now so i think uh, i will have to do like a multi-day marathon mm -hmm. um when uh, when last jedi comes out yeah. on uh on like dvd or blu-ray or something yeah it's gonna be awesome um, i think that oh uh one of the biggest things that affected me in my early life was uh was star wars oh um, yeah same basically it's opened up my eyes to this whole universe of amazing possibility and just exciting larger than life crazy fiction and dramatic like possibilities and uh 
got me interested in all sorts of stuff. I yeah. Mean, got me interested in fantasy and science fiction and gaming and basically everything that's responsible for probably why I'm sitting in this chair right now. It's, uh, I really have a lot of emotional attachment to the, uh, to the franchise. Uh, I, I feel the same. I, so the reason I went with my dad, other than, you know, he's my dad and I, I love him. And so mm -hmm. is that he was the one that showed me star Wars at the age of however old I was eight, maybe. Mm -hmm. And of course, I I could barely read the subtitles at eight, but uh, still fell in love with the franchise. And it's uh, yeah. yeah, first film I ever recall seeing was Return of the Jedi in 1984. I was five years <laughs> old. It was uh, it was an exciting time. Uh, who are these guys? Yeah. Commerce. Ah, uh, Goldman 88 is seeing it on Saturday. So we'll we'll make sure we don't yeah, no spoil spoilers. anything. No spoilers. Uh, also chat. Anyone who spoils Last Jedi will get banned. Just outright. No timeouts, nothing. You are banned. That sounds reasonable, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, so let's see what is going on here. I think my planets are mostly pretty good. Um, it's going to be my, my minerals planet when that comes up. That's just going to be the, the, the bee's knees. As they say. Mm. Um, although I do need more destroyers. Get that fleet cap up. Road to fleet cap. Um, do you have my purity tree as well? Filling out. Mm. Nothing very exciting coming up here until I can get my ascension perk. Which don't not really sure what I should do with it. Uh, probably machine worlds actually, since I don't need anything other than the the perk. So mm -hmm. let's go with that. Um, are you okay with going up into fast speed? Um, yeah, should be all right. Let's see here. <laughs> what should <laughs> I do? Sneeze. It's Star Wars. We're gonna watch it no matter what anyone says. That's 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 the truest that's thing I've heard all day. Basically, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. There's no choices anymore. I mean, there 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 are many things about like don't pre-order games or don't uh, pre-order their movie takes or whatever. But there are some some things where it's like, well, if if I'm gonna go see it anyway, why shouldn't I just pre-order and get the best possible experience immediately? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I, I don't need to read reviews to know that I'm gonna buy this. Like it, it could be the worst movie ever. It could be worse than the Phantom Menace. Mm -hmm. I would still watch it. <laughs> worse than the Phantom Menace. Honestly, for me, honestly, the worst one was Episode Two. Oh uh, God, really? That, that one was hard to get through. It just poured on so much like political <laughs> nonsense that no one cared about, as this thin veneer for a bunch of like kind of lame action set pieces it was not the strongest part of the series for me uh but i actually have a, a lot of sympathy for george lucas i really do because he kind of if you if you study the history of the franchise he kind of yeah. made it as a sort of tribute to the old buck rogers pulps like pulp science fiction things that he'd grown up watching as a kid and yeah. it was just a sort of fun one-off project that for some reason just took off way beyond anyone's expectations including Absolutely. his own and it was basically made intended for kids, but a bunch of adults really latched onto it yeah. and hyper analyzed it well beyond probably anything that he had <laughs> even thought about and made it this massive thing that defines his career. And I think by the end of it, he was probably fairly frustrated. Like, he'd actually been a pretty f serious film student and he'd made like really weird art movies and stuff when he was younger. Yeah. And he probably wanted to be taken like as a contemporary of Kubrick or one of his other colleagues. But he's defined forever by this silly space movie that he made. <laughs> and I can see as an artist you would find that very limiting and frustrating. So I, I empathize with him. But I'm glad that he sold the franchise on because it means it doesn't it's not tied to him exclusively anymore. It can, yeah. it can live on and, and we can get new stories out of it. And I think that's great. Um, but of course, Star Wars was going to be very different 
uh, in the original drafts. Oh man, I've read some of the first scripts and they were crazy. I mean, like, like uh, they they land on a sort of Endor-like planet and yeah. train the Wookies to fly the X-wings that attack the first <laughs> Death Star. I mean, uh, Han Solo uh, was some... supposed to be a green alien who looked like Greedo. Like, yeah, he was supposed to be this used car salesman kind of oh, character. Oh man, it was just bizarre. It's very weird. Very very strange. They actually did make a comic book based on that original. Uh, um, that original draft. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Um, and, and in it, so in st uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker or uh, Luke Skywalker is Luke Skykiller. Oh, the Star yeah, Killer, yeah, something yeah. Like I, that. I heard about the Star Killer. Um, and uh, he he's kind of Obi Wan and and and. Anakin in one, whereas he's he's like an old general. Oh Jedi. yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And then he studied, you know, the 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 hero's journey and uh, yeah. realized that you need to have like the wise counselor who teaches the young hero and sets him on his path and everything. And they can't be the same person. Absolutely. I think, uh, yeah, the essential brilliance of Star Wars is taking basically an eternal human story of love and revenge and betrayal and redemption and putting a sort of thin science fiction skin on it yeah it's basically space fantasy and it's been <laughs> massively massively successful because it appeals to basic human emotions that are i think eternal absolutely it's uh yeah i mean a lot of people like to call it sci-fi mm -hmm. i'd say star wars is space fantasy oh absolutely it is absolutely i, I agree with you 100 percent. okay so before we get into another big war, I kind of feel like we should like sort of actually look at how our empires are doing because we've been yeah. at war for like feels like fifteen or twenty years and not really yeah it's probably uh, neglect probably neglecting our robotic citizens probably the feeling I mean, the feelings we programmed them to have <laughs> must be just firing nonstop. I mean you're so cyborgs so mm -hmm. uh, yeah um, I I just have oh, oh oh they declared on me well okay. pause it pause it I got to see what's happening. Uh, oh God! The S Jagon fanatics with the, their oh God, they wake in the sun. The as ridiculous well. space penguins, parrots, doctrinal right. enforcers, fanatical spiritual. Oh my God! The space jihad is on. Okay. Oh God! Um, yeah, so I have 30k uh, fleet po <laughs> military power plus uh, 30k in the Federation fleet. Okay. You have 40k. Yeah. Okay, so they're just a small little thing, so we shouldn't... There's only really one way they can get at us with the current hyperspace in the yeah. network. Um, I'm going to send my troops to Uroglia. Okay, where are you? So where... Yeah, yeah, That's me, the yeah me too. Sure, you can... Uh, the, they, they, they will probably take Habitat Sap, but... Yeah, I that's, expect so. What can you do? Um, right. Have you set a war goal? I no. should probably do that. Okay. What do I want? Kay. I would like to humiliate them. I wonder is... Oh. And I want the Fifi system. <laughs> there's, a Jmore, there's a Jmore system in the game. Is there? Yep. Uh, we should get a Blondor system in there. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to is be one. one. Uh, I, I'm supposed, they're supposed to be in the generation list. That doesn't mean that it's in every, uh, every game though. Yeah, yeah. And it might not be in this update or yeah. when we made this, uh, the save rather. Just, uh, little, uh, little personal touch from us to you. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. I think it's the Blondie system, mm -hmm. just straight up. When they, uh, when they put that on me, I, uh. I felt like I was finally like you know I am I am part of this team now. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, it was a really it was a really nice touch. system is. Oh, it's actually quite close to me. It's right here. Oh, we got to declare war on those guys. Yeah. Just so that I can like have my system. <laughs> That's right. Rolled up the sleeves, cracked the knuckles. It's on now. My. Sp oh, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be some sort uh, of thing. No, you can't change war goals after you've set your war goals. Okay. When, once you have your war girl set, that's that's what you're going with. Mm -hmm. um, right. Okay, I should probably queue up some ships because this is probably going to be costly. Most likely, yeah. Actually, my, you know what? 
I probably need to upgrade my ships too because I've had a ton of technological advances and I haven't upgraded my designs at all. Oh God, for, yeah, for that's... ages. Um, let me uh, just quickly look in the ship designer here. Oh God, that, this is gonna be terrible. Um, I'm just gonna yeah, some of these guys here. We're in a bit of a pickle, I have to say. Um, this is quite possibly the worst possible <laughs> left fallen empire to awaken. Even these guys would have been better. Okay. Um, although these are enigmatic observers, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let um, me uh, just quickly upgrade my ships here. I'm really excited for that new fleet manager that Martin talked about in the uh, oh yeah. in today's dev diary. It is going to make so much difference. A lot of difference. It's just going to make managing fleets massively less of a hassle. Um, oh yeah. I think that people will really like it. Mm. All right, so basic mine. Can I get another shield in with this new jet power generator? No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is, yeah. <laughs> this is what it is. I'm definitely going to be losing a bunch of Corvettes, so let's just build them up straight away. There's, okay. there's no point in... Yeah, I'm updating my ship designs before I queue up a bunch more, a bunch more uh, construction here, because... This is going to get violent. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Mm. No more Doomstacks? Um, well, we there have been changes made that will make some prevention to Doomstacks. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, the last... Uh, I think it's the last dev diary, or perhaps the one two, before three ago, that, maybe. Uh, details some of the changes we're yeah. bringing in to and address it's a lot of changes to address that. Basically, the concept we have is that rather than the sort of all eggs in one basket, apocalyptic single battle deciding everything, uh, a variety of mechanics. It's not. It's it's not one simple magical key that unlocks the problem. There's a bunch of connected things that we need to do that will improve it over time. Uh, Martin explains it better than I can yeah. in his dev diary. So if you haven't read it yet, get on over to uh, get on over to our forums and check it out. It uh, it does a good job of explaining uh, what's going to change. Make love, not war. I, I agree. We were here spreading the robotic love, and then these bullies It'll just come around. It'll be a lot easier to to make love rather than war when all of our enemies are laying in a, in a, in a heap of rubble exactly. and their home worlds have, have been reduced to, to, to glass. Um, then there'll be all the robot high fives in the galaxy yeah. you can imagine. It'll be great. Yes. If you want to say something that goes directly towards us, uh, do at Paradox Interactive in chat and it will get nice and highlighted here and I can see it's much easier. Also, my phone just made a sound twice. Let's uh, make sure that that doesn't happen again. Throw that man out of the theater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did make sure to turn off my phone both yeah. times watching yeah. Star Wars. Good, good. Um, any chance for an open or closed beta for 2.0 down the line? Um, um, that's really hard yeah. because uh, we'll, we do betas for um, patches yep. um, in general because they're not linked to a full release. Uh, it's kind of hard to do a beta for things when you know certain parts might not be announced yet. We don't want to let the cat out of the bag before release yeah. day in many cases. Um, so it's very difficult for us to do something like that without sort of basically letting on too much too early, yeah. especially with systems that are not mature yet. Um, we do. I do want to continue with the policy we have on this team of trying to do uh, bug fixing, pat bug fixing and polish patches as betas. Yep. We put them out for. A, I'm in fact. We got one out right now, 191. Uh, we put them out as uh, we put them out as an optional beta. People stress them for a bit out in the way out in in live conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, that just helps us get a lot more data about how robust it is. And then when we feel comfortable that it's safe, we make it live and everyone gets it. Yeah. Uh, so if you're interested in things like that, always keep an eye on our news on the uh, the, the news articles on the Steam page for the game, as well as our forums, and you'll find out uh, about new betas as they are made available. All right. Um, uh, Silver Watcher. Regarding the other warp types, um, I believe it will probably be moddable. Um, that's going to be uh, 
honestly, I don't know. Uh, they are. It's going to depend on how how things work out. Yeah. We do, as a principle, try to make things as easy for our modders as possible. Uh, but we also can't lock ourselves behind old tech uh, that prevents us from continuing to develop the game. Exolutus says, uh, I've only read the first paragraph about the fleet manager. I'm already craig -assuming. Yeah, it's it's going to be really good. It's going <laughs> to be it's going to solve a lot of major problems we have had with this game um, for a long time with uh, big fleets becoming increasingly difficult to manage. Yeah. Uh, the idea that you have a very user friendly um, one click solution to topping up your fl to, to building a fleet that's balanced and taught and you can top it up easily uh, without a lot of manual orders. Yes. We'll just focus more on the grand strategy element of the game rather than the micro, uh, especially in the later game when you can have really large fleets, especially if we're talking about having multiple fleets with the anti doom stack measures, the fleet manager becomes massively Im important, even critical. And that's why we're putting it in. Uh, it's a big feature. It's taking a lot of our dev effort, but oh we yeah. consider it essential for the success of the update. Absolutely. Okay. What song is this? I don't know if I've ever heard of this before. This is one of the um, vocal versions. Uh, it oh. was actually originally in the. Uh, it was in one of the uh, the, spe the, launch, the the premium editions of the, of oh. the first launch of the game. And now, if you own the soundtrack, everyone has it. Yeah. We rolled all of the music that has ever been released and ever will be released for Stellaris into the soundtrack DLC, and we continually update that with each update. Every time we add new music, we put the new tracks in. Uh, we felt that that was just a good thing to do because we don't want you to buy a bunch of micro DLCs for a couple of tracks. No. If you want, if you want the soundtrack, if you want to listen to Stellaris music, obviously you should have it all uh, for one price. And um, so I think it makes it a much better purchase. Um, we're really glad we were able to do that, and we're gonna we're gonna keep updating it as long as we're adding new music. One of the best things in our game is the music. It's uh, yeah. the soundtrack is outstanding. Fantastic, uh, both by uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on names. Andreas Valdetoft. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Val both by Valdetoft and also uh, the Humanoids yeah, remixes. Yeah, the, the Humanoids one. Uh, we got a new uh, by Tobias. Uh, Tobias Gustafsson, our new yeah. director of music in the studio, and he arranged for those to be made for this latest update. And they're remix, like just remix versions of uh, existing tracks. Mm -hmm. But they put a, uh, like a new spin on it, and it was just a nice little extra bit of content that we were able to get into the Humanoids pack. I was quite happy about that. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. Um, so I have, I think, upgraded my ship designs. Let me queue up some construction to replace the All right. massive pool of losses we're probably going to take here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um... And by soundtrack DLC, do you mean digital OST? Yes. That's the one. Yeah, there used to be uh, so. a couple of different versions of uh, the soundtrack. There was the premium edition one that you got with pre-order, and then there was um, the just regular one. We merged them all into one. It makes it easier for us to deal with because we don't have to update two packs in the back in the in in the Steam backend when we update anything. And uh, here we go. Stellar's I think it's just soundtrack. easier to deal with uh, for the players as well. This is the one. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Um. Okay. I okay. am. Cool. So I've uh, queued up as much construction as I can. My fleets are on the way to Euro Euroglia. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my fleet first although i've sent the uh, the federation fleet down to roglia um i actually should probably stop Our building stuff uh before upgrading <laughs> so i can spend the minerals oh dear they're in roglia already hold up i oh should God. probably stop and we should collect our f collect up let's um yeah meet at ipragara all right well. ipragara if you can, um, because they have. Wow, they've got a big fleet. Yeah, two hundred nine thousand. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say that we're screwed, but we have what a hundred thousand. <laughs> we might be screwed. I think that. Uh, I think the uh, they didn't like us cra trashing the whole neighborhood and no. uh, ultimately decided to take their to take galactic justice in their own hands. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe you know the the. 
the spiritual space parrots didn't like the idea of soulless robots <laughs> co force converting the entire galaxy to a race of of, of cold-hearted machines. Now I feel like that's uh, very judgmental of them. That seems shocking. Why wouldn't they want? Why wouldn't they see the obvious optimization potential there? Yeah. I mean, I wonder how much energy we can get out of them. Exactly. So let's put them in the. Let's put them in the hypnosis tanks. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, let's upload them into the high energy server. You know, farm. maybe maybe their like their their spiritualist temples have like valuable raw materials and golden medallions and stuff that can be melted exactly. melted down and made into googly robot arms. <laughs> golden googly robot arms. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, conductors and stuff. Oh wow! I think um, of the possibilities. We exactly. just have to we just have to crush their fleet. Exactly. Okay. Um. Right, let's do some resettling. Oh dear. Can get things to my Sing couple of single oh I missed a couple of single ships that were on the way there and they just popped out and got That's completely weird. wiped out. Oh what have I done? Oh god. Construction complete. Okay, yeah. Oh no. No all of my I... ships are auto pathing to that same spot. No. Okay, I'm trying to redirect them. Oh god. That is unfortunate. Do you have Eroglias uh Oh god, Th this is um, slightly bad, I have to say. Um, it is. Okay, not pause optimal. it. Pause it. Pause it. We gotta, we gotta reorganize here. This yep. is getting I out of control. It. <laughs> okay. Maybe you need a means to unconditionally surrender, like in EU4. Well, I mean, you can just accept all their demands. Be like, yep, absolutely. Um, actually, that's not how you do it. No idea it is. Um like that. Oh my god, they <laughs> Yeah, they want to vassalize you. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Why would they want to Okay, that doesn't make sense. They hate you. Um Yeah. You could get away with losing two planets and becoming a vassal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, actually, you could get away with losing uh, Habitat Blorg. Hey, Blorg! Oh, yeah, because... Oh, that's your capital. That's, cap my home, that's, that's my capital. home world. I, even, I, I even, as, even as a highly optimized machine, I find it a little bit, like... Yeah. It, it causes me some bad feels to, to, to give up my home world. Mm -hmm. Because that's where I, like, you know... Keep my gold biplane and my rocket car. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Is there anything you could lose... Uh, they would not accept that. Mm, they would accept li if you just gave them Eroglia and became a vassal. Well, I feel like giving up without a fight would uh, be sacrificing my pro programmed feeling of, of honor. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it actually means, but my programming tells me that I should fight back before I just surrender. Yep, that sounds uh, about right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I think, hold on, let me see if I've got everyone that I want to move. Yeah, I, I'm going to try to collect my whole fleet in one thing, and then it'll be easier to manage this. In single player, I mean, I would just have it on pause and set everything up yeah. perfectly. But obviously on stream, we don't want to make everyone watch that whole <laughs> process. Uh, so sometimes... If I, I do occasionally see comments where people say, oh my god, Jay Moore, why did you do that? That was a suboptimal choice. I assure you I probably would play a bit smarter if there wasn't so much time pressure. Yeah. But we do want to keep things moving on the stream so that you're entertained. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, people are saying that we should probably s just surrender straight off the bat so we don't lose everything. Uh, how much uh, How much total fleet power do we have? I've got... 100,000? 40, 46... So 106,000. I got about 50 something, and you've got what? Um, in total, yeah. 63 with uh, <laughs> with the Federation fleets. Okay, well, I'm still not anywhere near my fleet cap, and we uh, might even be able to build up. Yeah, but are we going to be able to build up before this 209 takes us out? And also, will we be able to build up to twice our current size? Ah, screw it. Let's let's. We I do not give, give I don't, in. I don't think people watch a stream to watch us surrender. No. They want to see us go down in flames Absolutely. dramatically. Yes. Our 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 rust our rusted melted robotic 
manipulators grasping at an uncaring sky as as the uh, the nuclear fire rains down from the heavens, and we we suddenly rethink our lives. We do not negotiate with space pirates. No, no, that's the stop line for <laughs> no, me. Yeah, Corvus Redmayne has the right idea. No surrender, no retreats. That's it. Okay, <laughs> so we're we're gonna end this year out with a bang, folks. Yes, it's us or them. <laughs> uh, who are we fighting? Uh, these guys, you know, they're, you know, a small thing. You know, they, they have almost nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, actually, you're the only one that's going to lose anything, so okay. I'm okay with this. <laughs> then, then I can go and just take out uh, mm -hmm. the, the JMOR system. Help me out. Is there a way that I can set a... Uh... Oh, okay, I know how to do it now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good, good, good. I'm going All right. to... I, I am very low on minerals. Of course, I would, I would like to be able to do this right now, but nope. Uh, although you... Uh, Is there a way I can delete a rally point? Uh, yeah, just uh, click on it. And then uh, click uh, the... That one, yeah. Oh, good. Okay, because I'm trying to get them to rally on my fleet rather than that planet that was sending yeah. them to certain doom. Okay, you should have that now. Yep, cool. perfect. Good, good. And I and have enough. What do we do? I have enough fleet captains to, to to queue up a bunch more ships, and I feel like I should do that because let's give them a bit of a fight. Mm. Okay, let me know when uh, when you are ready for unpausing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so who's getting yelled at when Martin comes back and picks up his empire? Uh, I think these guys. I think this is what's being yelled at, mm -hmm. really. It's not ours. It's not our fault that these guys are uh, insensitive and intolerant of, of our ways. They, um, it's all right. <laughs> they, um, they've got the, uh, the the fury of the converted, but we can, uh, yeah, we can convince them of the uh, the virtues of optimization. Exactly. Or we could do a Daniel and be like, "Hey, we lost the save before the war started." <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I do think they actually did lose the save, but it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, that guy, he's a legend. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go. We can unpause it. Right. Um, I've queued up as much as I can afford, and we're all going to connect at collect at Ipergara. Yep. Um, we'll see what Federation we can do, folks. Is there, my fleet is getting there very soon. This is probably going to be a heroic bloodbath, everybody. But I want you to know that we uh, it's fine. we did it all for love. Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, increase our our mineral production here just to have that going. I mean, it's not going to be huge increases, but maybe I can actually build up this place. Probably not. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what my ships are like. Let's see. Can I? I cannot. Well, we'll see when we're in battle. It's too late to uh, spend oh. the last several episodes talking about the importance of logistics and yeah. we're basically at the Leroy Jenkins moment of the game now. Exactly. Um, let's give oh, you Oh man, leader. I haven't nerded out about real world history once in the stream yet. <laughs> man, I'm not living up to my... 33 minutes, Jamie. Uh, what is going on? Although who who am I and what have I done with the real Jamor? You did nerd out about Star Wars history. <laughs> I did, which is equally important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and equally useless in real life. Yes. Well, I think real history is probably a little bit more useful. Yeah. At Not my, much, but at, a little at, bit. At my last company, I was the Star Wars trivia <laughs> champion. <laughs> Fantastic. I won a New Order. Uh, the <laughs> New Order. <laughs> oh God. No. Nope. First, or First I, order. I won a. Uh, I won an eighty <laughs> an eighty synth pop helmet. No, that changed my voice to sound like Martin Gore from Depeche Mode. Oh, no, no, I won uh, a First <laughs> Order Stormtrooper mo voice modulating helmet, and oh, it was fantastic. It, it was pretty good. I want one. I'm I'm going to get one. That's my Christmas present to myself. Yes. Just a. First order trooper helmet. Okay, fleet's collecting up here. Which this are the superior helmets, really? They are pretty good. Yeah. Only, uh, yeah, actually, they're second to uh, clone arc trooper. Because mm -hmm. those were some dope helmets. Right, right, so they landed and took Ro Rogalia. Yeah. Um, 
We're collecting at Ipgar, uh, I'm Ipergara we, here. Yeah, we are basically all here. Um, okay, like here comes... The entire fleet is here. Although I seem to have lost some ships. Hmm. What happened to my ships? Well, doesn't matter. This is basically like some 19th century commander making a stupid charge because of honor. Yeah. Um, you're probably right. Yeah. Honor before reason. Death before dishonor. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Oh. Do you Patron want... of the Arts modifier can be either removed or I can let them... Uh, I they can get a refund. No, yes. I don't need a refund. I'm doing okay for money. Yeah. As uh, as the galaxy burns around us, we'll continue to put out lots of expensive public uh, public <laughs> statues. It'll exactly. be great. It's perfect. It'll be great. There's never been a better plan than this. There probably has, actually, but no. uh, objectively nah, speaking. I but. I don't believe you. Actually, they they just left. Oh, no, they're going to use him. For this last stream of the year, I feel like we should give the people a show. Yeah. Okay, I got a bunch of... Why are they not rallying on my... F we should uh, move down to uh, Ero Eroglia immediately. Try okay. to take that back. I'm trying to get... Because uh, they left. They've gone to use him. I've got a bunch of my ships that are not moving at all. Um... Aggressor soldiers landing. I'm trying to well, get them to collect up in one fleet, and they're just sat there. I don't know what I did. Um, well, try to d choose all of them again and move them. Maybe that will work. Yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> I, I did, but I will... Um, yeah, just reboot the, the ships. Yeah. <laughs> Tech support for uh, intergalactic fleet. Yeah. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Exactly. I'm moving down my uh, my my armies. And hopefully we can take back Eroglia immediately. Okay. Um, fleet bigger than five on the ships, maybe? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? Right. Um, I need... No, I don't need to build pops. I need to resettle some pops. Like, we don't need all this research right now. I don't know why my guys aren't being shown, but that is the way it is. I don't have the influence, actually. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Oh, dear. Where is their fleet gone? Uh, I think they were taking out uh, the, the closer planets. No, they're at Hoedus. Down in the south. Um, yeah. Here. This Habitat Sap they've taken. Um, oh, wait. They have two. Oh, okay. No, no. They have two fleets. Um, but one of them is only 20,000. Okay, we should try to take that one out and try yeah. to defeat them in detail. This is uh, It has to go through Iroglia if it wants to meet up with the other fleets. Yeah, so. this is a, a very classic position to be in. It's that Napoleonic central position thing that I talked about in a previous stream where you basically try to strike your, en your superior enemy before he can link up. Yeah. Uh, fight them separately and wear, wear their strength down. It gives you the time as the defender to hopefully create better conditions even the thing up a bit yeah uh, so we will try to gather as much of our strength as possible before committing to a fight uh, but we should keep our eye on what that other fleet is doing in case it tries to sneak past us where is it um well one in Hodus, and i think one of them the other one has retreated back into their territory okay Research complete. um i wonder just for the hell of it can i <laughs> nope uh never mind that Oh yeah, they they have jump drives, of course. That <laughs> okay. That actually makes sense. Um, yeah. So they won't have to come through here. I forgot about jump drives for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll tr <laughs> we'll try to catch them, but we gotta catch them together if we're gonna Ace do a, if we're gonna do any sort of damage to them. <laughs> Waterloo was a doom stack. Construction <laughs> complete. Yes, I, I I think you've got the right idea right mm -hmm. there. In general, um, concentration of force is a classic military thing. Yeah. You you aim to bring as much of your strength as possible to the fight. Um, 
there's a whole bunch of historical and practical reasons why you generally can't do that. Much of most, a large portion of armed forces throughout history have been tied down with fortress and garrison duty, keeping, they were basically, for most of history, there's been no such thing as police. Mm-hmm. The army was the same as the police, and much yeah. of your army, even when you were fighting offensively for, in, a, in a foreign land, had to stay at home just to hold on to things and make sure the peasants didn't get too many ideas. Um, it was uh, very difficult to put literally your entire armed, you know, entire military strength on the field in one battle unless if you were a tiny little city state um where are we at here okay okay so you're you're landing yep taking back the habitat to coaxi and of course uh here they (laughs) oh i'm just gonna yeah (laughs) whoo all right. Oh, they, are they have, coming for uh, you? Yeah. Are, are you in, are you fighting them? Uh, almost. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. I am now. Way. It's. It's too late. Oh dear. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Twenty six. Twenty five. Four. Twenty three. I took back the planet. I mm-hmm. feel like I've done a, a good deed. So we have our, our our moral victory out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have a legend of heroism that will sustain future generations. Of Absolutely. Through the through the age of our bondage. <laughs> oh man, I feel like the I feel like the king, the tribe of Israel up in here. <laughs> oh man, this is this is savagery. Yeah. Oh, Are you moving in or should I, I retreat? I, I came, but I, I I thought we were gonna try to attack them together. I mean, it's it's too late. I should re- just retreat. Right? Oh man, did you, dude? You you, you ran in before I could even I join. Di- I didn't run in. Okay, <sighs> they came to me. <laughs> uh, okay. Are yeah, you actually just, moving in? I I'm coming. All right, well, I mean, I could just retreat if you call off your attack. I mean, I'm I'm, no, we're, I'm not going to be here by the time you get here. No, we're in, we're in, we're in. <laughs> oh, gosh, folks, this is... Yeah, but look how, how great my energy storage is. Oh, yeah, I mean, like all that surplus population and reason and expensive stuff is suddenly freed up. <laughs> oh, look at this cloud of... Oh yeah! It's just a cloud. You look at it from a distance, and it, you can't even tell the individual ships. Oh, <laughs> this is oh god a heroic, doomed sacrifice, folks. But look at them pulling in like they don't care. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> oh 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 dear! Look at this theater. Oh, Blondie, lo- hey, the space hey. opera. I didn't lose the war. The space opera feels are strong, man. Yeah. That pointless suicidal attack to. Preserve our robotic honor. Oh gosh! All right, this is it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't know if we. Um, I want you all to know that if this was a single-player game, I probably would have just surrendered. Yeah. But because we're on stream and we want to give you guys a bit of a show, of it wouldn't have been any fun to just give up right away. Oh no, no, man, no. it's over. <laughs> yeah, completely wiped out. Yep. All right. Now we can surrender. Oh, let's just look at this beautiful point monument to human stupidity floating forever in space uh i mean robotic stupidity really oh no but but they were all under they were all under our control man we <laughs> sent them to their deaths yeah uh, i wonder if if real world leaders feel like this um let's see how do i all get right. the flight a fight lord yeah we better surrender yeah okay let's see yeah, minus 19 score on that one. <laughs> oh, Can dear. I... Uh, we lost. <laughs> Quite hard. Yep, Um. so that's good. <laughs> God damn it. What do you think? We give up? Yeah, I think, uh, think that's the best choice. I mean, you're the only one that's going to lose, but yeah. Well, that sounds like a pretty good deal then. Yep. You know. It's okay. We've uh do you have to Yeah, you have to give everything. We've been the spark that will light the flame that will liberate the galaxy from <laughs> yeah. These weird religious fanatics and the, their You have to give them everything they want. Okay. What do we do? Oh, fuck. And then just select what you want to give them and they want everything. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, that's probably not going to work, but, you know, Let's see what they're, uh, (laughs) 
Nope. Oh, I think I'm going to lose everything. Yeah. Uh, is it all your plants, though? I don't think so. I think you... S yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't see a point. I don't I don't see any other way out of it. Nope. Uh, okay, folks. Well, that might be it. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Research complete. <laughs> but hey, I finished some research. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, you still have a f fair amount of planets still. Oh, man. That was a massacre. Yeah. and now It's you're... not like we expected a different outcome, but... Yeah. Now, the problem is you're a dominion under them, which means that you're not in the uh, <laughs> in the Federation anymore. Oh, wow. Um, hey, I found new overlords. <laughs> Let's see if they uh, they are okay with the... Uh, whoops. Hey, look at, look at that. Uh, that's not the one I want. Union's map mode. Look at that. Look how big we became. As Jagon fanatics made a dominion out of the Blondor High Energy Server Farm, they have given up their spiritual independence in exchange yeah. for safety. I mean, that's okay with us. Oh, can we declare war, folks? We can we live by the sword? Kay. And uh, we sure died by it. Yep. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Yeah, that was the problem. We had a lot. We we were stronger on our. We were stronger together against all yeah. of our conventional neighbors but we eventually pissed off the these biggest, guys yeah. so much and we had didn't because we made enemies of all of our other neighbors we didn't have enough of an alliance to fight to fight them no so really it's uh it's a dangerous crowded galaxy <laughs> and you got to pick your friends and enemies carefully yeah we uh it's one of those eternal lessons <laughs> let's see what the chat has to say uh what do they think um, how do you decide which traditions to go for first? That's actually a very interesting question. That is, um, it really depends on your play style and what, you th what your priorities yeah. are. Uh, I tend to, as, if, as you might have noticed if you watched the previous games, I tend to really believe in long-term sort of investments in the infrastructure and economy of my empire. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I usually stay away from the purely military ones because I feel I can compensate for... Basically, economic strength helps me both when I'm at peace and when I'm at war, whereas yeah. military strength only f helps me in a, in a straight-out fight. Uh, something that is a passive bo bonus that just applies all the time and doesn't require massive input from me or for me to stick to a certain play style, like constantly attacking, I find that more long-term reliable. But again, it depends on your play style and your personality. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I generally go for uh, synchronicity first, or in its harmony if you are filthy organic, mm -hmm. um, to have, uh, you know, my leaders go on a little bit longer. Yeah. You have the uh, processing hubs or the paradise domes, um, which really helps out a lot. One of my, um, uh, one of my favorite things uh, to get early is discovery because it gives you a, a research bonus for every uh, oh, yeah. everything you survey. That's I like really that good. a lot because if you get it early, you're going to be surveying for yeah. a lot and it'll, it'll give you a sort of accrued benefit over time. Mm -hmm. I've been playing around with uh, with the cherry update and uh, I tend to go harmony then discovery mm -hmm. to get uh, to get those uh, leader benefits and then go for the the research stuff. Mm -hmm. um, maybe then into expansion if that's what I want to go or prosperity probably. Sometimes versatility if I'm like no I need a federation, but I usually play the lone wolf approach. Cool. I think honestly that this is the perfect way to end this session. <laughs> Uh, on the downest of notes. <laughs> Everything in flaming ruins. Yep. How will our heroes ever recover from this? It's the darkest days of the galaxy is known. darkest timeline. Oh, what, what? There's all, but there's always hope. All right. We will be back on January 11th for the continuation of Stellaris streams. Uh, we, I think we will still have Stars for Beginners. Uh, we are coming to the end of that series, but... We will definitely we be back with both Stellar streams. Okay. We hope that you all had a fun and rewarding 2017, and yes. you have a happy new year, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.